Our greetings. Hi. I've been asked to do a cooking video by several people. So here we are. We're going to make walnut black bean veggie burgers. And it's all going to be done in, in, the, in the food processor. They start out with a cup of rolled oats. Oh, I got to do two, two cups. I'm doubling the recipe. That's right. Two cups of rolled oats. And and two cups of walnuts. Got a really good deal on walnuts at eBay. I wanted cashews, but they were way too expensive. These are like about three bucks a pound. Well, I'll help to plug it in, huh? Are you supposed to pull this? Because it'll turn to mush. I had almost no roaches here until the neighbor moved out next door. Let's keep up with the garbage. Okay, now to that, we're going to add some garlic and onion. Off camera, peeling garlic. Recipe calls for two cloves. This means I'll put in about six. I always put in, you know, whatever they say in spices, I double it. <laughs> they always keep it like, oh, that's too bland. I should have peeled these before I started the video, huh? Cut up the onion. Would be so much, wouldn't be a dead spot in it. Julia Child, I'm not. Or what's his name? Galloping Gourmet. I used to like, like him too. That granny's got a potty mouth lot of fun in the kitchen. I'm really pretty boring in the kitchen. I mean, I make fun stuff, but it comes out of the kitchen, it's fun to eat. I don't, I don't do, I don't do sweets though. I just never got into cooking sweets. 
I make some fudge once in a while. And every now and then, like cookie dough that wants to be salvaged will show up. But otherwise, I don't mess with baking much at all. Okay, let's keep up with the garbage. I think that's the secret to keeping your kitchen in one piece. It's like, keep the countertops garbage free. Around here you have to, if you leave organic shit on the counter for more than about four hours, you get flies. Okay, let's uh, get that stuff chopped up. I hope this thing's a big enough capacity for all this. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and one tablespoon of soy, but I don't have any soy right at the moment, so it's going to get three tablespoons of Worcestershire instead. And a tablespoon of vinegar, it's supposed to be wine vinegar, but I only have cider vinegar. Oh, it's got to be two tablespoons, that's right. Oh, and I was supposed to double it, so that should be more of this, too. And a tablespoon of cumin. doesn't fit in there. And quarter to oh, a tablespoon of uh, paprika goes in there. a little bit of salt. Beans. I wonder if I was supposed to drain the beans. draining them. That's probably why you're supposed to pulse it because they say don't 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 just run it because it'll turn to mush.
Pretty tasty though. Okay. Let's see how it works out though. I preheat the oven to 400. I'm not gonna make a lot of them, I'm just gonna make a couple. I was gonna, boy, they look too mushy to, to set up for. Uh, not real well mixed either. They look too much. I was gonna, I was gonna freeze them. I was gonna put the patties on, on a. I have a big baking dish. I was gonna put put the patties on on the baking dish and then freeze it. Pack them up individually. Okay, it's gonna take a half hour to cook these suckers, so I'm just gonna like do it to here, and I'll show. I'll take pictures or something. Hi, I have a shave today. I need to do that. Um, now I'm kind of raw looking, huh? Such is life. Thanks for watching. Happy day. Bye.